Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com, and uh, today we're back with the uh, Leica Noctocron for the Panasonic Micro Four Thirds, or any of the Micro Four Thirds cameras. This is the 42 1.5 f1.2, and I was out doing some shots just illustrating what uh, is um, what this lens is capable of for depth of field, shallow depth of field, and uh, bokeh, just to show you... Um, what it can do. Uh, these are shot with the GH4, the Panasonic GH4, as you can see here. The uh, That's the uh, GH4 with the Noctocron on it. So uh, let's go over to our first in the sequence here, and uh, we'll go through some of them here. These are all shot in aperture priority mode. Let the camera do the uh, exposure here. And uh, so I was just picking my apertures and uh, letting the camera do its thing. This is at f1.2. And you could see in the background how uh, nicely blown out that is. Very shallow depth of field, nice and creamy bokeh. F2, and um, the cameras change the exposure a bit, but still you can see the background still pretty blown out at F2. Here's F2.8, F4, and here we've got um, F1.2. And you can see, I think the expo uh, not the exposure, but the... Um, focus point is probably this flower here. I'm not sure I might have uh, tapped the screen with my finger while I was shooting. This is f2.0 and you can still, it's very blown out still background, very still very shallow depth of field, very nice bokeh. This lens is a pleasure to shoot with on the GH4, very nice lens. This one here is at f2.8, f4.0 and again you could see that even at f4 the background is still Pretty uh, pretty out of focus, pretty shallow depth of field still. And it's a really nice lens to work with, especially on the GH4. The GH4 and the Noctocron combination is, is just beautiful. Super fast focusing. GH4 is one of the fastest focusing cameras I think I've ever shot with. It's just a gorgeous camera. And uh, paired with this beautiful lens, it's just a great combination. F5.6 here. F8. F8 again, we'll walk back down the apertures, F5.6, F4, F2.8, and you can see again, even at F2.8, how, uh, how shallow that depth of field is. F2, F1.2, and another one at F1.2, and look how beautifully shallow that depth of field is. What a gorgeous lens. Bokeh is just gorgeous on this. F1.2 again. F2, F2.8, F4, F5.6, F8. And here you can see, we'll go from F8 back down to F1.2 and look at the, at the difference. You know, some people say that you can't get shallow depth of field on micro four thirds. Well, look at this. And then there's your F point, uh, F8. So, uh, you know, quite different. Here's the same flowers, different vantage point. This is F8, F5.6, F4. And again, even F4 here, we're, we're quite nicely out of focus there. Quite, quite shallow depth of field. F2.8, F2, and F1.2. Beautiful, beautiful bouquet from this Noctocron lens. This, uh, this flower was inside of some foliage. So basically, um, there's some out of uh, focus in the front as well as the back. So it shows you um, really well how shallow the depth of field is here. F2 and F2.8, F4, F5.6, and F8. Here again, we're at F8. F5.6, F4, F2.8, F2, and F, uh, no, sorry, that was, I guess we had a couple there at 2.8. Yes, we did. This is F2. You could see already at F2, we're very, very nicely out of focus. F1.2, nicely out of focus for the background, I should point out. Uh, so yeah, and here you can see just how shallow this depth of field it is. Like little parts of the flower here are in focus, and then parts of it of it aren't. You know, like little bit of these petals here, the stems or whatever that they are, the pistils or whatever. I can't remember what the name of those is in the center, but and then here's another one, same thing. Look how shallow depth of field we have here at f two or f one point two, and look how creamy 
the the bouquet is the out of focus areas it's just beautiful here we've got some shots f 1.2 we've got a b on the uh, on this flower here very nice out of focus background again at f2 here and um f2 as well the first one was f12 i said i know i said again and uh another one at f2 here's the b leaving it's kind of a neat shot f2.8 the GH4 just nails the shots. You you point it and you pull the trigger and it gets it. Uh, F4. And here we're at F8. F5.6. F4. F2.8. F2. And F1.2. Let's look at that out of focus background. How beautifully shallow the depth of field is. Gorgeous bouquet. Here's some shots at F1.2. We get a seagull. Another seagull by the water. We're at F2 here with the seagull as he's walking away. Some ducks. This is at F1.2. Some more ducks at F1.2. Again at F1.2. F1.2 again. And again. And again. Back to some flowers. This is F8. F5.6. F4. F2.8. F2 and f1.2 and even with this narrow range you can see how in focus the center is here but then parts of the petals are not and in the depth of the petals this gorgeous uh, depth of field from this noctocron lens here we go f1.2 slight change in angle and um, where i'm standing so this is f1.2 again f2 oh sorry that's another f1.2 f2 is right here F2.8, F4, F5.6, and F8. Quite the, uh, quite the difference here. You go back to one of the F1.2s. Look at that. Look how nice the out-of-focus areas are. And then look in comparison. There's F8. And you can really see what this Noctocron can do. Just a gorgeous lens, folks. Overall, really enjoyed shooting with it. Love shooting with the GH4. Love the combination together fast to focus, uh, incredibly accurate, just a great combination. Really, really nice setup for Micro Four Thirds. Thanks for tuning in, folks. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any questions about the Noctocron, any comments on it, uh, any questions for me about, you know, how it was shooting it or anything, let me know and we'll try to get them answered for you. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography and videography. And, um, Technology right here at artofimage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.